Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Carl's Kicks. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Listen, if you have not hit that subscribe button, you're doing it wrong, all right? You're watching the video, hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the channel. You know, feel free to go check out some of the other videos, share the videos. Appreciate y'all, all right? So, jump into it. We'll be back with another sneaker review. All right? Now, we all know what this box is. If we don't, we should, all right? Jordan 1, all right? Now, this one is a little older, all right? I'll let you see that label. All right? It's an old Jordan 1 label. Now, um, with this old one, I don't think they have the, um, the chip behind the label, but I'm going to double check because, you know, with these new Jordan 1s and previous of my, a lot of my previous videos doing some of these, you know, I show you guys that chip. Um... That is behind there. It's kind of bright in here, but I do not believe this label has that. It's kind of a newish thing. All right, but we got that stamp on the lid. Oops, sorry, wrong side. We got that stamp on the lid. All right. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta keep these on the low, low. All right, because this is a. Uh, this is a show I wanted for a long time and then recently just made an appearance in a big movie. All right, so now, this is how you can tell this thing is old, right? So we got a quality control stamp right there. See that? All right, because now they do a gold sticker. So this is a stamp inside the box, all right? And the stamp on the, on the, on the lid, all right? Now, uh... Yeah, so that's gonna be it for the box, all right? And yeah, yeah, all right. So I said it was a Jordan One. Boom, we got the Jordan One Hyper Crimson or Neutral Gray, all right. Um, now I remember when this shoe came out, it came out with the Turbo Green. Let me get the other one, okay? Get that stock ass take out the way. All right, it came out with the turbo green, okay? And they were saying these shoes are kind of knockoffs to off-white. <laughs> you know, that's what everybody was saying. Rest in peace to Virgil, uh, true pioneer, right? Okay, um, so since then, I wanted this shoe. Now, this shoe is a, I think it's an 18. Yep, 2018 drop. So we talking 20, tw four years, all right? Um, that I wanted this shoe. Okay, so um, on the side here says SP nineteen Air Jordan One High OG, right? And that's kind of why they were getting the off white vibes. And then we got this nice suede, you know, going around. And then we got the hyper crimson, which is also suede. Um, the the leather here, as you can see, very tumbled, right? So the only leather on the shoe is the sides with the Nike Swish. The Nike Swish is all suede too, right? With that black behind there is leather, super tumbled. All right, and that goes around, and then it goes to the toe of the shoe, all right? So you can see how tumbled that is. Um, which is cool, because, you know, when you wear them, you don't really have to worry about you know, whatever. Um, yeah. All right. Um, Nike Air on the inside in white. Um, the Hyper Crimson color goes inside for the insole. Tongue. All right, we got the Nike Air. Now, um, this is kind of popular now, but back then, you know, it was kind of new where they had the uh, exposed edges on the tons, and that's kind of why everybody was like, oh, you know, they biting off off-white. Back at the time, all the Nike trademark stuff. Okay. Um, now, this shoe does come with um, black laces in the shoe. Oh, then that we got that white Air Jordan logo. Okay. See that art and that D-touch? Always a good sign to check on Jordan 1s, right? Um come with black laces and they also come with the hyper crimson laces on the other shoe 
uh, love the smell. All right. Um, now the the midsole of the shoe. Now this is kind of old, you know, but uh, I think it's it to me it looks stale. All right, it does not look white. It looks stale, and then the bottom obviously is gray. Okay, so we got neutral gray all around the shoe, right? With the black, black leather, black tongue, with the hyper crimson. All right, and this is kind of a, um, this is suede here. So you know, suede is a type of leather. So this is like a faded, you know, the hyper crimson, and then they did the shoelaces in the inside to match, you know, with the the Nike sign. Now these shoes recently just appeared in a new Spider-Man movie. Um, I think it's called Spider-Verse or something. Uh, that's where, you know, all the Spider-Mans meet up and then the Green Goblin is in there. Uh, Professor Octavius and all of that. If you notice in uh, that movie, in the scene, he was standing on the porch knocking on somebody's door or something and he had a pair of these on. So, you know, I think that once people see that, these might go up in value already more than what they are. Um, these shoes, I think, really started a lot. Like, I think without the without this shoe in the Turbo Greens, I don't think we'd have those um, those Jordan 1 um, Hyper Royals. Okay? Um, so, yeah. All right. So, um Okay. All right. So, um, two things. Um, bottom, like I said, got that neutral gray bottom. And um, now, of course, the tongue again, and then that info that crimson i mean you know stops and then it turns black into the shoe okay um yeah so let me know what you guys think about this shoe this uh neutral gray hyper crimson jordan one um is this a cop for you is this a pass have you had these since 2018 are you still looking to get these um you know let me know what you guys think about this shoe in general um you know and how it helped jordan ones or if you think it set it back or whatever. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate everybody for all the support. All the subscribers. Thank you for rocking with me. For all those people who have been rocking since day one. Appreciate you. And we out of here.